Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. As you can see here, we have our nickel box today. Last week, all of my nickels were new, so I didn't get to hunt any nickels. So hopefully, this week, they're circulated. Let's find out. And they are circulated, yes. Awesome. Alright, I'm going to go through these, see if there's any special enders, and get into this hunt. I'll be right back. All right, well, I didn't find any special enders, but I did find this one. It's a uh, 1956, so we're going to go ahead and open up this roll. And see what might be hiding in here. First off, here's that 56. Interesting toning. Not the pretty, Not the prettiest. All right. Let's see what else might be in this roll. Go ahead and focus that in for you guys. And see what we might be able to find here. Sixty fours. They will trick you every time. Nothing in this roll. So we're going to go ahead and get into this hunt and I'll let y'all know what I find. Well, look you what I found. I have not flipped it over yet. Let's see if it has a date. Ooh, 1937. Check and see if he's got three or four legs. He's got four. And there is no mint mark. But that date is clear as a bell. 1937. Very cool. Love these. All right, I'm going to keep on hunting. All right, well, I made it through that box, and there wasn't a lot of finds, but there were a few. Um, the earliest one I found was a 1941, as far as the Jeffersons go, and they go all the way up to 1959. So those are the old Jeffersons. And then I had two interesting finds. This one here, where somebody was practicing stamping coins. KDW. It's probably somebody's initials. And you can see here where it flattens the other side when they do that. So there was that one. And then the gem is my buffalo. There's no mint mark. It's in really good shape. I mean, you can even see the eye on the buffalo there. And it's a 1937. Very clear date. Alright. Well, those are the finds for this box. If you all like this video, leave a like and comment down below. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all next time.